everyone, I am Priyanka and you welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, we will see the recipe of restaurant style paneer do piazza. Let's get started. Let's first start with frying paneer. So heat your pan, add 2 to 3 teaspoon oil approximately and then add paneer pieces. Fry paneer till the pieces turn slightly golden on both the sides. Do not do it a lot, I mean don't let these fry for a longer duration and then immediately drop these in warm water. This way the paneer pieces will stay soft. So total 200 gram paneer is what I am going to use in this recipe. Let's move to the next step. So heat 2 to 3 teaspoon oil and add petals of onion. I have taken 2 medium sized onion. So we need to just fry it on high flame for 2 to 3 minutes. We don't want to overcook these onions. So take these out and in the remaining oil add 4 tablespoon more oil and add 1 big sized or 2 medium sized finely chopped onion, half teaspoon cumin. Fry till the onion turns slightly brown in color. Keep the flame high at this time. Then drop in bay leaf, black cardamom, cinnamon and black peppercorns. Just saute for a minute or so. Then add 1 tablespoon ginger garlic paste. Keep the flame between low to medium and saute for 30 to 40 seconds or till the raw smell of the ginger and garlic is gone. Then add approximately 1 4 teaspoon turmeric that is haldi. You can add little more if you like it. 1 teaspoon coriander that is dhania powder. Saute for 10 to 15 seconds keeping the flame between low to medium. Then add 1 medium sized finely chopped tomato. Lower the flame at this stage. Add 1 and half teaspoon red chilli powder. You may increase or decrease the amount of red chilli powder depending on the type of red chilli powder you are using. Then add a little water. Give this a mix. Remember lower the flame, cover it and cook it for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes with the back of your spoon mash the tomatoes and you would notice that it would be very easy to mash the tomatoes. Then add salt as per taste. You may adjust salt later if you feel that salt is not enough. Then add 2 teaspoon roasted kasuri methi. Just crush it between your palms and add. Half teaspoon garam masala. I am using ready made but you can use any. Little less than 1 4 teaspoon green cardamom powder. You can just put green cardamom into your mortar and pestle and make a powder. Then add 1 4th cup dahi that is curd. Just whisk it and make it smooth before adding it to the gravy. And keeping the flame low you need to continuously stir the gravy. And you may add a little water if you need to adjust the consistency but make sure you don't make it very thin. Then drop in the paneer pieces and the sautéed onion petals. Keep the flame between low to medium at this stage. Give this curry a good mix but be gentle. We don't want to break the paneer pieces. Then cover it and let it cook for just 2 more minutes. Make sure you use good quality paneer in this recipe and it would just taste fantastic. I am removing the bay leaf and now I am going to add a tadka to this. So heat your karchi. I've got a very small karchi, so please excuse me for that. Just some oil and sliced garlic. Fry it till it becomes crispy and then add whole dried red chilli. Fry it for a minute or so and then drop this tarka into your curry and give it a gentle mix once again. Don't skip this tarka that is tempering of crispy garlic and whole red chilies which we have fried because this takes this dish to another level. And there you go, paneer do piazza is ready. You can serve this with roti, chapati, fulka, naan, any type of bread. If you want, you can just make a little more curry and eat this with rice. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe the Terrace Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. Do give this recipe a try and enjoy.